Hi everyone, it's Dees. I have a grocery haul for you. I haven't made one of these for so long. And excuse my belly while it rumbles away. <laughs> so, um, I went to Aldi and Woolworths and a health shop. So, all up, this cost me $200. So, I think I'll start at the health shop. And I just bought two items. It was about $8 all up. Um, these are smoky peas, which I love these. Um, so I'll just snack on them from time to time. I don't buy them very often. But I actually went in the health shop for um, some of this peanut butter, which is made fresh for you. They have a special machine. Um, you can have uh, almond butter as well made up. But that's a lot uh, more expensive. So this here was $6. Um, and you can pick from smooth, medium or chunky. So I like to put that in porridge or, you know, I rarely have it on bread now and then on toast. But anyway, that's what I bought from the, the health shop. So let's start with the Aldi. The Aldi came to about $163. Um, and that's for a week, mind you. A lot of these items will sort of last into the second week so um, the weeks alternate with me sometimes I'll have a dearer shop one week and then a cheaper shop the next week depending on what I need for instance I bought 24 rolls of toilet paper and that will probably last us a bit over two weeks so in next week's job I won't be needing toilet paper and same thing with I'm at, I was out of the self-raising and the plain flour, so I bought more of those, and that, that'll probably last me a couple of weeks too, depending on what I'm cooking. I have some panko breadcrumbs here, so I'm going to, I have some pork steak, I'm going to make schnitties or schnitzel with the panko breadcrumbs. I love panko breadcrumbs. Um... There's some milk for hubby. That's the big three litre. I have some cream because I want to make some scones. I have some yogurt for myself. Uh, sometimes I'll have this for either breakfast or lunch with some fruit and nuts. Um, I have some orange juice and apple juice. Oh my goodness, my belly is just so noisy. And of course it starts growling as soon as I press record. I have some bagels and sometimes I like to have that for lunch with some cream cheese, tomato and avocado. And just toast that. Of course the eggs, I normally get a dozen a week. I um, have some mangoes, hubby likes that with his yoghurt or we can make smoothies with it. I don't normally buy the curly fries, but I thought that would be nice with the schnitzel, with the pork schnitzel that I make, just for something different. It's the meat over here, I have some chicken tenderloins. There's the pork steaks, just the little ones. And some cheese, I've got some uh, a block of cheese in the fridge still, which will last us for a bit so I just bought a little bit of Carlsberg which I love um, five star beef mints probably make burgers tonight with that uh, buffalo style crumbed chicken tenders which I normally just have like a um, side salad and that's nice on a hot evening um, I have some pepperoni, I'm going to make homemade pizza, so I'll just pop on whatever veggies I've got with that. 
um, mushrooms, pizza sauce, cheese, and yeah, just a little bit of meat. There's two sections here, so I'll probably just use one for the pizza and I'll freeze the other side. So that'll go into the following week as well. I have two, um, we've all already got the sandwich ham in the fridge. So um, I've got a couple of packets of the silver side, which is always nice. I have some carrots, corn, bananas, tomatoes, strawberries, green capsicum. I think you call them bell peppers in America. Cucumber, baby spinach, some flat mushrooms, a head of lettuce, and over here we have six bottles of the natural mineral water. We don't drink soft drink. Um, just special occasions, maybe Christmas I might buy a couple for the others, but I don't tend to drink it. I like to flavour that um, with a bit of lemon juice or even pop a little bit of pineapple juice in there and it's really yummy. Of course I have my Canadian maple syrup, I love that because I make banana pancakes. Um, I'll probably do a video on that. Um, I have some tuna canned tuna and I'm going to make curried tuna mornay with that so I might pop that on the video too who knows um, fruit salad for over the holidays I'm going to make a um, what, what do you call it trifle I have some laundry liquid up the back there some tomato paste and corn kernels and lastly we have some coffee pods for hubby, some fruit oat biscuits to have with coffee and tea. Um, I bought the Kit Kats for the girls when they come visiting. They can have a little strip each. Caramel wafers for the girls and hubby and I. I bought some iced Christmas cake slices. There's only five slices there, but I thought that would be nice for over the holidays and some novelty Christmas chocolates which I should have actually popped those in my Christmas stash to do a Christmas haul which I'll be doing as well um, just a Christmas food haul then I have some ibuprofen ibuprofen um, tablets for me. I have a bad back so some Colgate tissues and lastly anything I can't get from Aldi. Um, on the way home I'll pop in to Woolworths Woolies, um, and just get the rest. So this was about $30 this little bit here in the corner. So my dog is fussy, Rita is very fussy, and she likes my dog in the fish. She doesn't like the others that much, she'll eat maybe one meal and then she'll just stick her nose up the rest of the time. So, <laughs> so I got her some of those, she only has half each meal. Um, Woolies didn't, no Aldi didn't have blueberries. So I thought I would go to Woolies and get them there and there's no blueberries to be seen there. So there must be a shortage of blueberries this week. So I bought another punnet of strawberries. I bought some QP mayonnaise, uh, which I love. Just on sandwiches and like if we have crumbed fish, I'll have that on the side. Um, yeah. I have a jam sponge roll to make the trifle, so that'll go in the freezer. Um, I'm buying everything now well ahead of time because one Christmas I left things to the last minute and there were no eggs, there was no bread, there were no cakes, so um, this sort of thing freezes really well. I've done it before, so um, 
Um, plus, if you buy a few weeks before Christmas, I've started about six weeks ago. It's not so hard on the budget, um, buying all this Christmas food. So just sort of things to make it easier. I have some pizza sauce to go with the homemade pizza. Some sweet chilli, which I wanted that the other night and we didn't have any. I can't remember what we were eating, but I wanted some with it. So I stocked up on that. And lastly, some unsweetened almond milk for myself. So that's it. $200 worth. It's very expensive to, to eat. Um, so yeah, that's everything. And I have my centerpiece Christmas mat with the lights on. <laughs> so that's going to look nice at Christmas. And I'll give you a quick squeezy of my pretty Christmas display. Again. Okay guys, so I hope you like this grocery haul. I'll do you one more closer to Christmas, um, just with all the Christmas nibblies. Um, but I've, I've been buying that, as I said, bit at a time. So I'll put it all together for you and, and then you can see that later. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. Thanks for watching, take care and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.